fertility and the gut. Are they linked? So fertility and the gut. Here are five things to consider. Point number one. Researchers have found that a leaky gut or a increase in gut permeability is associated with inflammation. And inflammation has been associated with recurrent pregnancy losses. Two, celiac disease. What's celiac disease? It's essentially an intolerance towards wheat or gluten. And when you have these things, you get an allergic response and damages your gut. And what happens with that? Well, it's associated with infertility. And one surefire way it does it by the sheer anemia that it causes. Now it's important you get that diagnosed because it can lead to a lot of other problems if not properly done. And the gold standard to diagnose this is via endoscopy. Point number three, your gut microbiome. What does that mean? Basically means your gut bacteria. The balance of which is very important, particularly as it is important in changing the bound estrogen to free estrogen. Why is it? Because women's body needs it. Now, a disruption in your gut microbiome affects this pathway, which has been shown to affect fertility, cause polycystic ovarian syndrome, and also has association with endometriosis. Point number four, the thyroid gland. It's a gland that sits essentially over here, and we know an over or underactive thyroid can cause fertility issues. But how about this? The thyroid gland needs iodine and iodine as well as iron is absorbed via the gut. If your gut is unhealthy, your absorption is not good enough, it affects your thyroid gland and hence, there you go, you have fertility issues. Something to keep in mind as well. Point number five. We know the fact that a pre-pregnancy weight has an association with infertility, meaning uh, an overweight person has a higher chance of having infertility issues. We also know that the gut microbiota or the gut bacteria is different in someone who's overweight versus someone who is normal weight, someone who has lots of sugar and someone who isn't. So, by addressing the weight, you address your gut bacteria, you potentially could address fertility issues. And how do you do that? Well, firstly, cut out the sugar and to increase the, the variety and the health of your gut bacteria, the simplest thing you could do is have more fiber in your diet. How do you do this? Fruit, veg, nuts, so the next question may very well be, what do you look out for? Well, sometimes uh, you may have no symptoms whatsoever, but symptoms could include a change in bowel habit, bloating, uh, uh, feeling lethargy and anemia. Now, of course, if you have infertility issues, see a fertility expert. Uh, that's the first thing you should do. But if you think it could be related to your gut, well, see your gut doctor. <laughs>